there. We're starting a brand new chapter, and we have, we are doing, well, we're talking about temperature. Now, one thing to realize about temperature is um, not everybody speaks the same language. Americans use something called Fahrenheit, and everybody else doesn't. So I checked my phone, and I saw that it said that the temperature in Almani was 73 degrees Fahrenheit. But what if I got a friend coming in from anywhere outside the U.S.? They don't know what that means. You say 73 to them, and they think, oh my goodness, how are you surviving? How can you handle the heat? You know, are, are you going to die when you set, out, set foot outside? So in order to make them feel a little more calm, we're going to translate this into Celsius. Now, the formula is this. Um, the temperature in Celsius is equal to the temperature in Fahrenheit minus 32 degrees over 1.8. So let's get started here. Um, temperature Celsius is equal to 73 degrees minus 32 over 1.8. So let's go through this and explain what we're doing. Now, when I subtract 32, what I'm going to get is 51 degrees. Now, what does that 51 degrees mean? Water freezes at 32 degrees Celsius, at 32 degrees Fahrenheit, zero degrees Celsius. So what I'm saying is that by taking away 32, that means that our temperature is 51 degrees Fahrenheit above freezing. Now, a degree Fahrenheit is smaller than a degree Celsius. So we need to take this over 51 degrees Fahrenheit above freezing. Let's change this into degrees Celsius above freezing by dividing by 1.8. Now, if I do this, I get Tc is equal to 2, 2.7777777777. I have to round this off. I can't write this. So, where do I round it off? Well, there are two ways to look at it. One, subtracting. Do I subtract? I mean, how precise is this? Do I, can I say that this is no more precise than one place? At which point, play, in, in, if I, that's my decision, I'm gonna end it at the ones place. I would stop at the ones place based on minus 32. But on the other hand, you're also dividing by 1.8, which means that when you divide it, you should only have two sig figs in your answer. Again, you're gonna round it here. So in both cases, they're telling me to round it to temperature Celsius is equal to 23 degrees. Now, tell your friend from anywhere outside the United States, it's 23 degrees here, and they're not gonna think that's cold. They're gonna think that's about perfect right now. So that's how you convert Fahrenheit to Celsius. Subtract 32, divide by 1.8, and you get your answer. Now, by the way, just a um, little number sense thing. Um, degrees Celsius are bigger, so you generally tend to get smaller numbers. Also, think about the fact that um, freezing, you're starting with a bigger number in Fahrenheit, just even at starting at freezing, you have a bigger number in Fahrenheit. So whenever you're going from Fahrenheit to Celsius, you should expect that your answer will be less, both because Celsius degrees are bigger, so you don't take as many, also because Fahrenheit at zero, or at freezing, you're already 32 degrees in with Fahrenheit. So no matter what, expect that when you convert Fahrenheit to Celsius, you're going to get um, a smaller number. The only exception is if you're some, from someplace unbelievably cold, as you go down and down in temperature, eventually at about minus 40, you get a point where minus 40 Celsius is minus 40 Fahrenheit. If you're colder than that, then if you're talking about a number colder than that, then your Celsius number will be bigger. Still negative, but bigger. And, but unless you're way down there in temperature wise, expect that whenever you go from Fahrenheit to Celsius, you're gonna get a smaller number. Okay.